Where are you? I'm uh, at the sleep clinic doctor's office. Yeah, there's all the different masks over there. We, we haven't seen the doctor yet. We're waiting for Dr. Inga. Yeah. So look at all the different ones you could get. Hey, uh, I, I'm not going to get no masks because I'm not wearing no mask. Well, you might have to try it and see. And this morning I looked out my bird feed in the front yard. There was three deer eating my bird seed. Yeah. Well, now you're going to have to have bird put deer food out there for the deer. I want to put them an apple out tonight. Are you? A couple apples, yeah. You can cut them in half? Cut them in pieces? No, no, I'll eat the whole open. thing. Oh. We got apples. We got apples. Because Grandma's going to give us another bag, so we'll have plenty of apples. A lot of apples. Yes. Got to get apple here. What do you got to do today before you go play bingo? Got to go grocery shopping for Grandma. Yeah, she don't like get out in the snow, so Dad's going to buy her some groceries and drop them off to her. Supposed to get snow tonight, maybe some icy roads, so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I this weekend's call. supposed to get bad. I got to call Bingo tonight. Yes. Deal with the old ladies down there. Yell at him, huh? Yeah. He does yell at him too. Yep, you got to keep them under control because they get rowdy. <laughs> What's the one thing they complain about the most? Everything. Everything? Too, too hot, hot, too cold. Too cold. You're going too fast. You're going too slow. Just goes on and on. You tell them to kiss your butt, huh? I tell them if it's too hot, take your clothes off. <laughs> if it's too cold, put your clothes on. It's that simple. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We came out for lunch. The special today was Swiss steak. So I, we, I got the Swiss steak, and he got the Swiss steak. This is after the doctor. How did the doctor's appointments go? Don't be Real stupid. good, real good. What did they say? She's a real cutie. You have severe sleep apnea. I'm in love. Man. He has severe sleep apnea, people. Right. He's trying to take it as a joke, and I just want to kill him. I really do, because it was bad. But now we're going to eat lunch. I have this light beaming in my... Whoa! Whoa. Oh, okay, hi. Hi there, back. What if I turn this off? Okay. I know it's a little dark, but man, that's so bright in my eye. I think I'm just going to have it off. Uh... We got home and dad left to go get groceries for grandma and I called Lizzie because I had to vent for a minute. <laughs> well, we ended up talking for like an hour and a half. So it was more than a minute. We talked about all kinds of stuff, but I mainly called her to say, dad is not taking this seriously, Lizzie. She's going to call and talk to him tomorrow. Um, but uh, dad's sleep apnea is severe. He, when the doctor came in, because she knew it was a bet on if dad was right or if I was right. If he was going to prove us all wrong or if he had sleep apnea. And uh, she drew a line down the, the chart showing how what it was like before the guy had to come in and put the mask on him. And Because uh, that's the one thing from a sleep test dad did not tell me. He didn't tell me the guy rushed in at a certain time of the night and put the machine on him. Um, because it got so severe, the tech was scared. So they had to put the, first they tried CPAP and then he had to go BiPAP, which was a more air to get him, uh, leveled out. Um, but he stops breathing 67 times an hour, which is a severe ap apnea. And so, and my dad just tried to joke around about it. And I looked at the doctor, I said, he just tries to joke around about it. And she, she looked at him and said, this is not a, this is, this is a serious situation right now. And, uh, she said, it's, and it's just not your mechanics not wanting to breathe. Your brain is not even wanting you to breathe. That's not sending the message for you to breathe. He's having problems in both areas. And, uh, so yeah, um, He's got to get, I think he's going to get a BiPAP machine. Um, the level of air isn't as high as she wants it, but she's starting him a little bit lower for him to get used to it. We got a good, the medical supply place is going to call us in a few days. She said, if not by Monday, give them a call. Um, cause they got to go through all the insurance stuff, you know, see what's covered, what's not. And, uh. And she said, you know, told Dad, if you still find it at too high of a rate for you right now, I'll just call and we'll just change it. Dad's like, how do you do that? Come out and do it. They're like, no, it's, there's a little modem in it and a computer. And we just changed some buttons here at the office and it talks to your machine. <laughs> I said, yeah, Dad. 
That's why when you get the machine, you have to use it every night because if you don't, they know. It knows everything. And she's like, yeah, Medicare for the first three months, you know, they'll look at your, after three months, they look at how much you used it. And if you're not using it properly, they will not pay. So it's a big, it's a big to do. It's just aggravating that he's not taking it more serious. Because as soon as we got in the van, outside of the doctor's office, I said, so what do you think? I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I went off. <laughs> oh, I, because he doesn't see it. He does not see himself stop breathing. I mean, I have seen it. Grandma has shaken him awake from stop breathing. Because uh, as soon as I got off the phone with Lizzie, I called Grandma. and Because Dad took groceries out to her. Because she called earlier. She goes, uh, is your dad calling bingo tonight? I said, yeah. Here, I want to give you a grocery list. Have him stop and get me some groceries. Because she does not like getting out in the snow anymore. So I got a grocery list. And he stopped to drop those groceries off. So I knew he was there. So I called her and I said, so what did dad tell you about his doctor's appointment? She goes, he acted like he was in such a hurry and didn't talk about it and just left. And I told her exactly what happened. And uh, she said, I'm going to call him tomorrow and I'm going to ask him how the doctor's appointment went and I'm going to see what he says. She, she, he doesn't know she knows. So she goes, I don't care if he gets mad at all of us. He needs this because she said, it's bad. It's been bad for years. I said, I know, Grandma. So that's what happened at the Humpers doctor's appointment. Fun times. <laughs> so now it's 7 o'clock. I just got in the living room. Oh, they're talking about Carol Channing on. She was like 97. She lived a long life. Um, but anyway... I'm getting ready to have some water, which I just turned into pink lemonade, and maybe some popcorn, because I don't want any dinner, because we ate a late lunch. We ate at like 3.30, so I'm really not hungry for a meal, but popcorn will be good. Um, tomorrow, I'm cleaning out the fridge. I got my accountant coming over. We got to take payroll to the shop. Going grocery shopping for stuff to make cabbage soup. I think that's it. But, all right, I'm done ranting for the night. I was just aggravated earlier, people. Aggravated. Um, oh, there she is with Miss Piggy. Okay, I'm died. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, it's over here, but I'm looking over here. But I will talk at you all later. Goodbye.